A zombie apocalypse is coming. But instead of fighting the zombie invasion this time around like we do in most games, we are the zombie invasion. And this man is patient zero. And that's the thing about zombie apocalypse. It only takes one zombie to start the whole party off right. A quick boxing match where fortunately for me, I'm undead. A Little bit of eating people and wouldn't you know it. Now we went from an army of one to many. So let's drop one of our special abilities here. A spell, which will increase the rate of us spreading the zombie plague in our zombies. Oh my god, they're basically like berserkers right now. But while we apparently keep running on construction crews who don't know how to build buildings very well at all, there's a car that's rocking back and forth. Now, conventional wisdom says, if the car's rocking, don't come knocking. But I disagree when you're a zombie. I think it's the opposite. Let's get these two lovebirds out of the car and eat them. I mean, that may have been what's happening inside the car, but we're not interested in that. That's not the kind of zombie game we're playing. See, we've got a few officers here. What I want to do is take one of them out. And then once he converts to zombieism, what we want to do... Wait, that only took down half of his health. Oh, it's a slow trickle. We're breaking in from the front. We have lost a fair amount. But it looks like we might be able to resurrect a lot of our fallen brethren. I mean, if you consider mindless zombie automatons who are barely coordinated enough to do much other than, you know, swipe, bite, and convert live people to our army. Which I guess is really all I need of them. Look. Okay, it does take a little bit longer. Let's, let's go berserk mode. Oh my gosh. That power, our W ability, is absolutely incredible. We are destroying everyone and everything, including this worker hut, which kind of reminds me of those old Command & Conquer games where you could bunker up in buildings. All right, now here is probably our first task. All right, zombies, I need you all right here. Some of our guys actually are carrying shovels. There's a lot of interesting little hats, but apparently there's a little bit of variety to our zombie army. But look at this, we're in like a proper phalanx formation. Now, do we want to play the long game or the slow game? Well, considering they have a wooden machine gun tower, that is not a machine gun. That is two miniguns. The rate of fire of that tower could be absolutely catastrophic. And what if we berserk? Berserk! If you can convert one or two more... Oh, he got immediately chewed up. But we did poison somebody. So you can play the strong and brash way of just bum-rushing this barricade, which I am tempted to do. I wonder if we could somehow trigger these explosive barrels right here. Can I poison this tower soldier? <gasps> I can. That's the way we break in. We don't let them use the machine gun tower. So how many zombies do I have? I think we have 87. Can't really tell with this bar. One more. Death invasion. And their greatest defense is kaput. And there it is. Okay, slight oversight. The guards are pretty well trained and they immediately take over. Well, there's only one thing to do. Everybody attack this fence and I'm gonna drop a berserker right here. Oh, and apparently our shovels are like ranged weapons. Corpse explosion. Okay, we used a corpse to explode right near the base of the tower. We have lost 35 men. Get there, guys. Slaughter them. This is actually working. Now all we have to do is destroy this tower, which is, my gosh, that has a lot of health. However, when you have, like, 100 zombies, well, it makes quick work. Many hands make quick work, especially if they're zombie hands. Huzzah! Now destroy these houses, and we can move on. The zombie apocalypse will not be stopped by mere police officers with apparently incredible minigun towers. Where do they get this kind of ordinance? Why don't you pay for the schools instead of minigun tower? Well, I mean, you know, they accounted for the zombie apocalypse. That must be it. City of death. Now, what is this? We got 95% and this is converted into experience. The artwork in this game is incredible. Look at that weird monkey deer. <laughs> now, the cool part about this is there's sort of like RPG and a little bit of roguelike to it. 
roguelite. Now they say the best defense is a strong offense, but if we're inclined for offense, then offense is offense. That's logic, right? What am I talking about? Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, dear. So this is the situation. Our zombie army is posted out in the woods, but within this fortified compound, we have a number of officers armed with semi-automatic pistols. But this is the interesting thing. There is some titanic beast, which they haven't put down. So if we can free him, we can use him to break through the great iron gate and then march forth into this armed compound where, well, their weaponry is getting a little bit better. They're evolving and so must we. They even have an attack helicopter? What? All right, first thing we need to do is surround this car. Oh, you poor fools. And a well-timed berserk. Oh, man. They one-tap these little idiots. <laughs> so I'm thinking what we want to do is raise all of our fallen brethren. There he is. Okay, this is definitely going to help our chances. It's like an abomination. So the thing about this guy is he can pick up these trucks. What? And he can throw them or smash them. Throw the truck. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's pretty incredible. So then what we need to do is use this guy to unlock this simple iron fence. And we can do it from distance and he can just destroy them? Are you kidding me? Attack the gate. Everybody. And berserk. That was a pretty strong gate, but not strong enough to stop us from achieving glory. Oh my gosh, they've got marksman snipers. Oh! They just destroyed my hero. Can I raise him? Oh no. I don't think I can. All right, these guys are no joke. What's in the security room? It looks like two people have decided to hide out here. And we're able to resummon our giant abomination hero. Let's pick up this truck. We're gonna need it. So this guy's like a walking trebuchet. Now what I'm curious about is if I can throw these from distance or will I get sniped? Let's see. Oh, they, they're on patrol. Uh-oh. Looks like he can get sniped. He was able to kill some of them, but he immediately died. So, all right, we might have to do this multiple times. This is sort of a, a strategy game in a way. Let's see if I can't get a few of them. We got two. Oh. Throw it before you die. All right, I think what we have to do is just bum rush them. Do it. They are kind of slow. There we go. Onwards. I love how we throw shovels. <laughs> it's like my big guy is a trebuchet and my little guys can be like ballistas. I don't know what I'm picking up, but it's got a nice sound to it, so I can only assume it's good for me. Here's the issue, though. This area over here is very, very well guarded, but there's some explosive barrels that I'm wondering if we can't use. Now, are these like DeLoreans? These are DeLoreans. All right, big guy. What I need you to do, this should cause a massive explosion, right? Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody, get over here. All right, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. To create a demonic claw that targets aerial units. That's how we're gonna destroy that attack helicopter. So I think I've lost 79 men, but I have 86 currently. And look at this, we're wearing, oh, that's what we were picking up is armored helmets. Now we're gonna be more difficult to shoot in the head. All right, now how do I get this thing? Uh. Oh, okay, so I have to time that and then destroy it on the ground? I mean, it's on the ground now. Oh, that's gonna create an explosion. Pull back! That helicopter has artillery. Oh, oh, it's following me, okay. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Okay, so I'm able to throw things at the helicopter and destroy it. And I think that was all we needed to get victory here. Destroy that thing before it fires that artillery. Oh man. That was like instantaneous victory. The Lavender Collection. What a weird name for a hotel or a base. 
Now, what is it that we unlocked? What is this strange dial? This game has some depth to it. We infected all the snipers. We rescued Amalgadon. Kind of reminds me of Armageddon. I would have named him Armageddon. And we got 100%. So we leveled up. We got some loot, demonic claws. And this is the part where you get to level up your hero. What do we want to unlock? Increases blunt attack, max HP. What about max HP? But there is still many, many more cities and fortifications that the humans are using that we need to take over. So if you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Because we need to take over the world.